What's up guys, Huntero here. In this video, we're gonna go over the live balance update that just went, just got announced by Respawn a couple of hours ago. Um, TLDR, they listen to the community, they evaluate a lot of things smartly, they try not to make huge changes, um, and they test it a lot so that we don't have to spend a whole bunch of time relearning new stuff. That's basically the TLDR of their announcement. But let's dive right into the weapon balances. Wingman has been nerfed. Um, I've made a video earlier saying that it was OP, that it needed to be nerfed, most powerful gun of the game. Looks like they realized that as well. They've reduced the rate of fire, they've reduced headshot damage, and they've reduced the hip fire spread and decreased the weight at which the rate at which hip fire spread decays. All sounds good. They've also reduced the rate at which it spawns. I think this nerf is pretty on point. I think it's going to bring the gun where it needs to be. Um, I haven't used it yet in game to see how it feels, but it sounds like this is a good nerf and it's going to bring it back down to a level playing field. The Peacekeeper was also nerfed with rechamber rate with a shotgun bolt. There's your numbers right there if you're curious. Um, I never thought the Peacekeeper was majorly overpowered, but um, I guess their testing came out that it was a little bit, so that's that's fine, whatever. Uh, the big thing I want to talk about, though, is the increased availability of energy weapons and ammo in all zone tiers. I'm going to say it right now. The Devotion is going to be the next gun that everyone wants nerfed. The Devotion is going to be the next wingman. Let's take a look at some raw numbers real quick. Here I am looking at the DPS rankings of all the guns in the game. As you can see, the Devotion is at the big top, at number one, with an insane 199 DPS. Now, let's just compare that to the R99. So the R99 has 188 DPS, but really think about how fast the R99 goes through a magazine compared to the Devotion. The R99 spits its ammo insanely fast. Rate of fire is 942, where the Devotion's rate of fire is 701, significantly lower. It's because its damage is way higher. So you're talking about a gun that has the highest DPS in the game, and now with this change, energy ammo is going to be everywhere. I've played a couple of games with this new update, and I can tell you there really was energy ammo everywhere. I feel like it's less common than heavy ammo, but more common than light ammo. That's how it felt to me. So the devotion with the turbocharger is absolutely hands down the best gun in the game now, and I feel like it's going to be broken big time and people are going to complain about it a lot but the devotion is the gun to go for now 100 percent moving on um we're addressing legend balance and hitbox feedback um if you want to read this real quick just pause the video i'll give you a second to do that okay cool we're moving on so yeah they basically are happy with the large hitboxes and they're going to make the large hitbox characters more powerful and balance it that way so with that being said they are going to reduce, eventually, the hitboxes for Caustic, Pathfinder, and Gibraltar. That's very interesting, and I can't wait for that to go live. It's kind of hard to evaluate how it's going to be now, but it looks like their goal is to make all the characters balanced. And it sounds like the big boy characters are going to have are going to be very powerful. So that's, that's super interesting. Um, if you have good movement and you use cover well, it might be good to main those three characters because their abilities might be hella good. Um... Caustic is receiving a big buff. Caustic is going to be used a lot more after this buff because that's three big buffs to him. My next takeaway is uh, Wraith into the Void, 20 to 25. Five seconds is a lot of time in a gunfight. Uh, my next prediction is going to be Lifeline is going to be the new meta. Everyone was playing Wraith before with the Wingman. I think Lifeline is going to be the most used character in the game after this big update lifeline has the second biggest hitbox and this nerf where a s removed slight chance that level four armor and helmets will drop basically means nothing i've never even seen gold armor in a care package bangalore reduced speed um bangalore is still crazy good the hitbox as we learned is kind of the balance for bangalore though bangalore has the fourth largest hitbox so very interesting update i like what they're doing i like how they're being very forward and open with their changes. I can't wait to see how the next season looks. Um, if you have any questions about the update, any comments about the video, please leave them in the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.